All right then, so. There's been a few games popping up for the Steam Curator feed, so I figured I'd basically go through them and show them off. Here is SHPR. But it looks like this is a very simple game, and it's not a very simple price in the store to like go with it. But um, well, let's see what it's basically all about. And of course, I forgot to load up Steam here, so there's that too, but whatever. Right then, so. Good, the file looks safe, excellent. It's always good to see a good AVG check right off the bat, so that's nice to see. Very simple settings, but whatever. It's so level one. All right, so the idea of this game is basically like you know, you basically have to like control your like you know, you got the mouse, and I guess we just automatically fire stuff. So, well, this seems to be like a vampire survivor type of game, but you know, whatever. Very, very simplistic Vampire Survivor game. So we got basically Comet Medic, your HP will be lower, but you will generate over time. Glass Can, you do more damage, but your HP is reduced. Or Fast Chambering, reduce the time between bullets from the same magazine. Alright, so... Let's take Glass Can. That's good enough for now. We're gonna go for high damage. So it's usually some ways go faster than others, by the way, so that's worth knowing. So I'm going to upgrade an item here. I have no idea what this does, but okay. That's a fast enemy. Well then. If you're gonna actually cross me to like sort of let me chase it. Good to know. Oh, ow. Hmm. Let's take that one. Let's see if this guy is basically, yeah, he does die. So, those guys really die on like two hits, but I guess, like, you know, we put the damage over time on to, like, you know, kill him that way now. Whoops, ow.
didn't work too well when it was basically like, you know, other guys coming at me, I guess, but whatever. Oh, you know what, guys? You see their health bars, by the way. So, they actually have health bars on you, like, dots. Interesting. That might be projectile speed right there, by the way. I was hoping the damage over time would be a little more effective, but you know. It's not really helping that much. It's like not very good, like damage over time. You know, I have to say, like, you know, compared to, like, you know, um, Vampire Survivors, is like kind of like laid back. It's different though, so I'll give him that. Oh, here's a boss. The boss doesn't seem to take damage over time either, so I mean, it seems like I got a very weak upgrade here of like the damage over time. I don't know, but because of like maybe with like a mouse by the way, it's like very hard to sort of like, you know, do like those bull time things by the way as well. But whatever. Blender Boss, place your current weapon. You will fire many bullets at the same time, but they will have short range, more spread, and will take longer to reload. Giant, you'll have more HP, but it'll be bigger and slower. Fast chambering, reduces time between bullets from the same magazine. So let's go for Blunder Bus. Sure, we'll take that. I mean, it's slower, but, you know, this works really well for my, like, you know, damage short time upgrade, I think. Ooh, we got shooters now! We got Boston Squares! Now, I'm not sure if Blunder Bus is a lot better than the air weapon, because it basically got such a spread on it, but whatever. Maybe we can like, get more like fire like, to come out once. I can't upgrade anything, I don't have anything for it.
We have enemies, finally! Oh! Oh, I got defeated! I lost where I basically was there for a moment, but whatever. Let's turn down the music just a little bit more and we'll go for one more girl, I guess. I'm gonna basically try, like, you know, saving up my points this time, see if I can basically save my upper points and stuff like that, so. There's tank, you will take reduced damage, your health will increase, and you will deal more um, contact damage, apparently. Vampire, heal for a part of your damage you deal, deal. but not close your range is, uh, will be bigger. That's nice. Oh, so you actually can skip me like more upgrade points, that's nice. So yeah, basically it seems like this game like sort of like, you know, um, it tells you to sort of skip like your upgrades as much as possible, to get more points. One of these is faster than the other. You don't have any items! Action point. You know, I'll say that basically on my, on my, on my face it, I prefer to basically have like these type of games be like with keyboard and mouse, or not uh, keyboard and mouse, but you know, just pure keyboard. But, you know, for those basically what I want to play with like a mouse, I guess, this is like an okay, like, you know, um, go of it, I guess. That's wrong, I don't have no upgrades power, I don't do enough damage to, to like, you know, kill these guys quickly, so... I only have 60 health left, basically, one of like that will basically, like, you know, get reset, basically, every, every time I clear a level here. Your bulls will slowly move to a closest enemy. Quick reload, you will roll faster. Yeah, it looks like my health like, comes back whenever I like, you know, do a level here. Can't take too many hits by winning this game apparently, so that's worth noting. Or at least the, the triangles do a lot of damage to you. Oh, that's when I kill it. Well, we see a total like you know 56 enemies there, I guess. All right, well you can basically get the idea of what you know what basically SXPR is basically all about. Essentially, it's like very like you know very much akin to like the Vampire Survivors games, but you know you're basically using a mouse as a, instead of like the keyboard, and like you know um, there's a lot less like enemies basically in the board to deal with because like you know that sort of a thing. It's different. It's not like bad. It's like you know very cheap game. Maybe check it out, who knows? Take care.